So by season 3 of The Mandalorian, Grief Karga, now High Magistrate, welcomes Din Djarin to a more vibrant, richer, and greener Navarro. The ex-bounty hunter agent has done a great job at improving and expanding the city, and offers Mando a bit of land so that he can be landed gentry. The disappearance of the Imperial Remnant and the Children of the Watch, and many of the bounty hunters from Navarro meant that families and businesses started arriving on the world and settling. And much of the economic activity on Navarro is driven by mining. Belters are mining the asteroid field at the edge of the system. A lot of money to be made on Navarro. And although Mando really has helped out the world of Navarro a lot by getting rid of the Empire, he actually has a run-in with a bunch of pirates while visiting Grief Karga, and on the way off-world, he gets into a dogfight and ends up doing a good amount of collateral damage to some of Navarro's mining operations. This could cause some instability in the planet's future. Seems like wherever Mando goes, trouble follows.